program. But tonight, right now, we have a very serious topic. And I was sharing with Lisa that when I saw the message that she sent, it just inviting me to attend the event, I literally didn't show you that, didn't tell you this part, right. literally sat up in bed. Wow. Like, are you kidding me? You need to come on the program tomorrow. Right and talk about this. So without further ado, Lisa, can you just introduce the panel? Well, I'll introduce the panel. Okay. That's good. We have with us Deborah and Shawnee, and they're all here to talk about the truth about depression unmasked. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the event, and we'll talk about what are some of the, stigmatis the stigmas that are surrounding it. Uh, what well, we're having in the event on July the 25th, it's going to be at the Newcastle United Methodist Church um, at 11 a.m., and it's an open um, invitation where we're going to be uh, giving lunch away um, and this was something that the Lord laid on my heart because someone very close and dear to me um, gave me a call about two months ago um, and told me that you know they finally kind of confessed to the church that they were depressed and the church was you know pretty much like well what do you have to be depressed about um, you know you're you have this status, of course, I don't want to mention anybody's right. name, uh, in the church and, you know, your husband, well, you know, takes care of you. So, you know, what was, what's the problem with you being depressed? Well, the, the thing is that the church didn't receive her uh, very well. And that's no, um, you know, no, no bad thing against the church is that sometimes, you know, um, being in the church, we, we don't really look at the seriousness of people going through various um, challenges in life um, and instead you know we immediately refer to you know you got to have faith and yes we do because faith without faith it's impossible right. to please God um, but this particular forum is for us to get together and open up a platform for women to have a real talk about the issues um, that go along with loss um, and even sometimes like you, uh, uh, you, you hear all through the news of people who have everything mm -hmm. and they're depressed. Mm -hmm. Robin Williams was, you know, um, a, 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 a good example mm -hmm. for the reason why now the church really needs to take what is going on in the world today uh, with regards to what happens after you leave church. Right. So, Deborah, Shawnee, what are your thoughts about this topic and this event? I think it's I think it's going to be wonderful. I think it's going to help a lot of people because when when she gave the topic unmasking, we we understand that people go to church and they pretend. Oh, yes. They pretend that everything's all right, even when we're shouting and praising God and even in prayer, but we're pretending that everything's all right. So we go home, we're changed in the sanctuary, but then when we go home, we go home and we face those same issues, but we don't want to deal with them. So I believe that this seminar, this this product that the Lord has blessed her to come forth with is going to help so many women and men because statistically when we look at the men and the women it's, it's probably maybe 70 percent women 30 percent men but they still go in their, in their in this mask and pretending and you know I'm so blessed I can't be stressed mm -hmm. you know all that kind of foolishness that we say in the church so what the Lord wants to do through this ministry is he wants us to take off the mask and really be real with our issues as women. You know, um, Dr. Donald Morton wrote a book yeah. mm -hmm. called Mass or Faces. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, it was uh, very much on this topic, not so much about depression mm -hmm. so much as about the, the, the faces that we wear. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, why this was so impactful yeah. because, um, you know, Michael and I are on the air all the time. and. They, everyone sees us smiling and happy and yeah. I'm not trying to wear a mask yeah. but you still have to live your life right. and you can't live your life this is gonna sound weird but you can't live your life feeling the way you feel on the mm -hmm. inside all the time yeah. that's right you know I lost my mom in February I would right. be crying constantly right. if I didn't just upright just exactly. be upright exactly you know but yeah. that certainly doesn't mean I'm not yeah. sad exactly yeah. you know and you know one of the things that I, I think has just become um, so performed for us especially as women because we carry so much on us mm -hmm. is that we've gotten so used to putting these masks on as if these things don't but then what are we doing for the younger people mm -hmm. and uh, my children often tell me you know mom I can't live up to your expectations and you know what and, and not so much as the expectation of it but you know they look at me as being uh, someone who can't hurt and right. because I put this strength on for them that uh, uh, you know, they're like, well, I can't go through it like that, you know, and, and the truth is, and I, I oftentimes tell my husband, 
the truth is I hurt the same way right. yeah. you know you hurt and 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 given if I didn't feel all the time that I would be judged in uh, a different way I may be able to open up more this is not just for the public yeah. this is for me as well yeah. and I think that that's what united all of us yeah. together is that we each one of us have a story that had we not been talking around the kitchen table I would have never known right you know and and again even sharing with regards to the loss of mom mm -hmm. you know and really how do we get through that each and every day yeah. what is it that is helping you to to kind of stand there uh, and still be the servant for the community and then once the cameras stop rolling how do we then unmask that mm -hmm. you know and what is wrong with you know allowing people to to see that whole full transformation that's one of the things I love about my pastor um, you know he he has just to totally opened his life to the congregation one of the things is is so nobody can come back and say to him well did you know right yeah. did you know yeah, this no, did no. you know yeah. and you know it's an, a, an incredible freedom when you can get these things off of your chest and and move on it brings you that strength it gives you that hope um, uh, um, um, that that wouldn't otherwise be you know so Johnny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just thinking as well, um, when you have a platform, when you have an opportunity to talk about it, it makes a major difference. Right, yeah. Because you could, go, you could come to church and, and, and everything is fine, then you go home and then you got that attack in your mind. You know, and the Bible said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. That's what he tells us. But how do we how get do to that, that place? Yeah. So we, we understand that we have to read our word. We have to pray. And you have then, to be around people like And you like have minds, to be around right? people. I call them down soft partners. Somebody who that you can talk to and that you can trust with your stuff. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's it. Shawnee, what are some of the thoughts you have about this? Well, me growing up, I was able to talk about it. But I just didn't have nobody, you know, I could talk to about it, mm -hmm. you know, to relate. Um, I practically, you know, grew up in the streets. So it, I love the streets because that's where I learned. But um, people have become so dependent on pastors yeah. yes. and ministers that they don't. I learned that I could deal with it through my relationship with God. And that's how I learned, you know, different gifts that I had inside of me that I didn't know. And it helped me to um, let go of some of the things, you know, that I was holding on to <laughs> and even remember right. some of the things, you know, that I've you know traumatic things that went went on in my life mm -hmm. but you know go ahead Lisa no I was just gonna say that I think that this is just gonna be awesome for not just us older women um, who are matured women but for the young people um, I and I reference my my daughters because I want them to understand yes we do um, have to have courage and we do have to have strength um, but you know there there is nothing wrong with connecting as, as you said in this in, the, in, a, in a few minutes ago with people who are like-minded mm -hmm. um, that you mm -hmm. feel safe um, talking to your sisters um, about your issues and a lot of people do not understand the resources um, that are available to them and we're hoping that even at this event we'll be able to point people to different resources by no means is this a medical uh, uh, forum that we're offering this is more a freedom experience that we want and you know even for uh, the loved one who really I prayed and asked God to show me how to really make this an event where not only uh, she will be blessed you know but other women will be blessed as well mm -hmm. um, and I think through this connection um, though it is a very heavy topic because we don't want to take it off as right. you notice neither none of us have makeup on yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the, the the clarity of this transformation comes and I was talking to Shane earlier today in church you know sometimes we think that the more we put on on this ex exterior that this is really what we present to the world right. um, but in actuality I want people to really be able to glean from the glory of God that is radiating from the inside outwardly so that's the that's the type of forum so we can get together and this isn't one of those crying right. uh, segments but this is I'm really talking about a freedom in God yeah. one of the other things I hope that this will serve to do is sometimes when when I am just gonna talk about me when I'm experiencing that that heaviness, yes. that weight, it feels incredibly self-indulgent. Yeah. It feels yeah. like, 
Seriously, you're gonna whine about you right now? Are, are you are you really gonna whine about yes. you because you have a house right. and a car and a job yes. and, and a family who loves you? Yes. Really, you're sad yes. right now? Yes. And then my mind goes to, yeah, well, I don't have a husband, I don't have any kids, and then right, my right, mind goes right. down that path. Right, right, right. You know, right, and right. it's 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 hard. You know, and you just feel it like, is. I feel like you don't want to be here. You don't yes. want to be in this yes. space. Yes. Y you know what I mean? Right. And that's, yeah. that's again, what it is, is really being able to laugh at some of the things that you're going through and, you know, really look at a place where you could take the word and put it there, right. you know, um, because without the word of God, there, there's no way we're going to make it, um, and, you know, and so I really understand what you're talking about. I do a lot of mirror talking to Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Lisa yeah. does not have a mirror talk, um, yeah, I would be crying a lot. Uh, there are a lot of things that I'm, I'm personally going through, but I have so many mirror talks uh, with myself. And not only that, one of the great uh, things, and, 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 and um, we had this when we did the pageant for the young kids a few uh, years ago, um, being able to really hear someone speak back to you, not that it's okay, but you're making it. Not you're going to make it. You get it? Mm -hmm. You're making it. Right. I'm, right. I'm doing this right, right now. now. Right. And so a lot of people don't. Your mind is not. One of the things that, uh, again, for me, my, my way of processing is my mind and my heart don't always connect. And so my heart is the one that speaks and not my mind. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I, I have to let my heart speak. Big my up heart from, is huge and loud. That's how yep. I get. That's huge how I get and through. loud. Yep. Very much. And then your mind has to just bring it, bring it on down. That's bring it on down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, we bring were talking balance. about that scripture. You know, in, in Romans, I think it is. It's twelve one and two. You know that we're talking about. That's right. By the mercies of God, that you present your bodies and mm -hmm. the sacrifice, yep. holy and acceptable. Yep. Which is your reason. And it's my reasonable service. Yep. And so my mind is being transformed and renewed daily because I definitely don't want to conform to what it is that has me uh, in the mud. I want to see myself bigger than anything that it is that I'm going through. My pastor shared this at the very end of service today. And it's really, really exciting uh, 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 to know that if we're not in a place where we're praying, you know, that again, that also... Uh, uh, Leaves it open. Leaves everything open. open. It does. For any kind of mm -hmm. attack. That and also prayer, prayer changes things. We understand mm -hmm. that. Awesome. But if you don't believe your prayer, That's if you it. don't, because the Bible talks about without faith. And all of this is a faith walk. Even when you're dealing with depression, depression is a dark hole. That's so it. you got to believe God to get out of that place that you don't mm -hmm. want to be in. That's and it's it. going to come through prayer. It's going to come through worship. It's going to come through your faith. Because if you don't have the faith to believe God, then you just we're just beating the air. That's <laughs> yeah. all we're yep. doing. Yep. We're pretending again. So I'm going to read the details for people. Please is that okay? Do. Okay. Do. okay. Thanks. Okay, so this is Distinguished Ladies Incorporated presenting My Truth About Depression, Unmasked from a Christian Point of View. This is going to be held July 25th at 11 a.m. at Newcastle United Methodist Church, 510 Delaware Avenue. If you have questions, you can call area code, well, actually, to RSVP, please call area code 302-275-6418. There's a free will offering. Lunch and seating is limited, so please be sure please do make sure that you RSVP. Well, we're going to be talking about all sorts of loss, loss of a loved one, loss of a career, health issues, money, abuse, molestation, anger, fear, debt, unforgiveness, frustration, children, anger, violence. So this is an event you don't want to miss. If you're on Facebook, Michael and I will be posting this, the, the details of this to our Facebook page right after the program. So if you have any questions, um, I'm sure you can also call that number. Most but please do RSVP to 275 Six four one eight, ladies. Thank you so I'm much, so Lisa. Thank you so much for coming on you're such welcome. short thank notice. You. Thank you're you. You're very welcome. It was very <laughs> nice meeting you.